Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Just trying to get my beard oil. Uh, today's April 1st. First day of the month. Business day of the month means super busy work day for me. It is almost 9.30 and I've done two work reports and one work phone call. I'm about to go on my second. <laughs> 10 to 10, my team meeting is done with. They gave some great suggestions. It's cool here in Florida, so they said you should open up the windows to get some fresh air. So we're gonna do that. Sarah made me a cup of tea. Eve's angry because I'm not rubbing her belly. And Sarah also said, since it's gonna be a stressful day, we should put on Christmas, Christmas movies in the background. So that's what we're doing. She wants Sarah to get out of bed because Sarah's still chilling in bed. Starting off with the classic right here. That's first on the list. Okay, I made it out to the couch. The vlog is uploading now. <clears throat> and our second movie of the day is A Muppet's Christmas Carol. This is Peter's work face. Doesn't look like it's fun Disney face, that's for sure. It's not my fun Disney face. Here we go, movie number three has begun. Black and white, Miracle on 34th Street. I'm running out of time now, it's 1.20. Um, I finished, I think I finished five more reports since the last time we talked got two massive ones one I have to like modify and do a little ad hoc work on compared to what I usually just like press and play it but um, Sarah's taking a break she just got the vlog up she's FaceTime and Violet and Christina I'm copying some files over so in the meantime I'm gonna make Sarah made me a cup of tea earlier but I'm gonna make me a cup of Joe to get me through this second half of the day and been going smoothly. I love that I have the windows open, get some fresh air in here. It feels so good. My run tonight's gonna be awesome with it being so breezy. I just gotta keep up the water intake. And there's my update for now. Miracle on 34th Street is gonna be the, probably the favorite of the day for me. Okay, today I have been the most productive I've been in quite some time. It feels really good. On the other hand, a lot of my clients don't need design work right now. It's just not a priority. Um, but I still feel good to be doing things. Somebody told me that it would almost be like a flip of the switch with how I was feeling to how I would eventually feel better. And I wouldn't say it's necessarily been that yet, but I definitely am feeling more myself. Our next movie is Home Alone 2, which in my family is often watched around Thanksgiving time. Um, but... What are you watching over there? <laughs> Peter's watching Stacy on his iPad. <laughs> I'm listening to her, I'm not watching her. Do you like Home Alone 1 or 2 better? I used to always be a Home Alone 2 person, but I feel like as an adult, I've watched one more than I did, because I, I feel like we watched Home Alone 2 more. Um, I can't choose. I'm not good at picking. Things are sluggishly moving along for me for work-wise. It's 4.40. Um, I have one more really big report to do, but I already cleared it with my accounting department that they'll have it for them. I'll have it for them first thing tomorrow morning, but I won't have it before 5 because it's 4.40 and it's going to take like a two hour-ish like off and on process. So I'm getting that already. I got Gary V in my ears. Sarah, what are you doing over there? I'm answering comments. Oh. For the first time in a while. I'm feeling good. Good. I'm, and yeah. I feel like you had a really good like FaceTime with Christina and Violet earlier too. Mm -hmm. It's, it's been a good day. You look like you got some glow and some energy in your face. Yeah. I'm like, I have sleepiness behind my eyes, but like, I feel good. I feel better than I have. So, I'm going to cook up our leftovers. Oh yeah, delicious. And are we going to keep up the Christmas movies or are we going to watch Marvelous Mrs. Maine? I think we'll switch to Marvelous at some point, but I think we need well, to eat can, like, earlier. Lunch. But I think I'm going to run later today. Okay. I think I'm gonna, I, I gotta, cause I'm doing this, I don't wanna yeah, run right now. It's a good dinner to. Yeah, yeah, I'll eat that and then wait till like late, late, like maybe even 10 o'clock again to run. Okay, just gotta be careful because curfew. Curfew. And now we have a stay at home order that's happening in At some point tonight. So I'm gonna show how I made the burritos yesterday a little bit more in depth. I mean, just like a highlight section of it, but basically just showing you how I put it on and then how I flip it. Have a little bit of oil getting hot on here. 
and just put down the tortilla. And honestly, you could put whatever toppings you want in it. It doesn't have to be these toppings, but um, I'm gonna start with one of the almond dips that we've used, but like shredded cheese, queso, any kind of like bindy, yummy base would be good. So I just spread that out as best as I could. And then the refried beans and then the veggies. I think this would be really good with peppers, even like spice peppers, bell peppers. Um, so I'm excited to make it again, knowing that we like it so much. I'm gonna try to show the fold. So we do fold here. So I had a little too much oil, not too much. It's nice and crispy though. And then cut it in half and give this one to Peter. Okay, mine ended up a little bit more pretty than Peter's, but there you go. All right, I finally got ahead of the stressful part of, I believe my stressful part of my last report, but my report has to be done with like this timed thing that goes every hour, so I have to wait till six for it to run. If it runs well, I have to do some things, run it against seven if it does good, do one last thing and then I'll be done for the night. So now it's just like sitting and waiting until six, do a little bit, sit and wait until seven, do a little bit. So I'm kind of done for the day, but kind of not. Sorry, I'm watching something about the Doc Antle guy from the Tiger King, like speaking out against what the show showed about him. <laughs> Important things in life. Yay. We're getting a switch. <laughs> we just FaceTimed with our lovely friends Sean and Caroline for like what, like an hour and a half? Yeah, a while. A while, if not longer, I think. Um, but what came out of that is one, we love them and they're amazing. <laughs> Always check out their YouTube channel, we'll put it down below. And two, we're gonna get a Switch. I just have to find one. I can't find a Nintendo Switch online, but I found Mario Kart little kid version on iPad. The real question is how long is it gonna take Sarah to eat that giant jar of pickles? <laughs> I choked on the seat. We have two of those. She's gonna eat them all. We're gonna fry pickles tomorrow. I thought we were doing that today. How do we say tomorrow? Well, now it's too late now. I'm ready to eat tomorrow. You gotta go on a run. I don't know if I'm going on a run. I think I'm gonna... Well, I deserve a day off. Yeah. I just haven't decided that this week, and I think I'm gonna use it to convert to morning runs. I don't have to go super early since we're working remote. Sure. So instead of... I've been waking up doing my first report and, like, falling back asleep on the couch with Eve, so instead of doing that, I just wake up, do my morning, my early report, and then go on a run. That's a good idea. All right, so all the switches are sold out from here to Timbuktu. All of our face timings, I think, are done for the day. So we're gonna watch season finale of season one of Mrs. Mosberry's, marvelous Mrs. Maysberry's. And then we're probably gonna start watching the next season. It's 8.45, I'm gonna run tomorrow morning and switch to an early day, early morning schedule rather than late night so that it doesn't interrupt the day at all and I can get it done before I start work and before Sarah gets up and before Eve gets too crazy. So then it's just the rest of the day is ahead of me then. And plus then it's nice because then it's like cool, but early morning sun, which is always nice. We just finished season one of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I did not expect it to go that way. And I loved every minute of it. So are we gonna start the second season? Yeah. Yes, we are. It's like 9.45ish, right? 9.50. The night is young. Oh, lucky, lucky me. I don't think this is the first of the month. We have to do two messages. I haven't done this, the monthly message in a long time. The monthly message is by Herb Gardner. You have got to own your days and live them. Each one of them, every one of them, or else the years go right by and none of them belong to you. Well, I need to hear that today. The quote today is by Goth. Keep not standing fixed and rooted. Briskly venture, briskly roam. I'm gonna take that back quote, talking about our adventures over the next 18 months between the baby and the World Marathon Challenge, and thank you to the people who have donated so far. But that front message I also needed to hear today, because today was one of those days, like, it was the first of the month, it was super busy. I didn't actually end up finishing that last report because there were some IT issues that I have to get fixed in the morning. So it was one of those days where like, I just worked the whole time well into like seven o'clock and then we did some facetiming which was great but then all of a sudden i felt like it was nine o'clock and the whole day was gone so what does that quote say you have to get you have got to own your days and live them 
each one of them, every, every one of them, or else the years go by and none of them belong to you. So we all need to practice that, especially on these fleeting days. So make every day yours. Own it. Grab it. I think for me that means I actually just continue reading that Bob Iger book that I've been trying to read for a week and a half now that I haven't picked up since I first opened. And it's just to acknowledge the fact that, hey, we got to stay indoors. We got to be safe. And while we're doing these things and staying indoors, we got to do things to make the most of those times, like reading Bob Iger's book. But it is way late. Um, we're going to go to bed. Well, Sarah's been asleep, so is Eve, for hours now. I have not been sleeping too well, so I'm hoping I intentionally stayed up later today in hopes to have a good night's sleep. I'll buy a shorter one. So tomorrow is going to be a great day. It's not the first day of the month, which means it shouldn't be hopefully super crazy with work. But we love you guys. Thank you so much for enjoying us and joining us along with these adventures, especially during all of this uncertain times. We love seeing messages from you guys. We love seeing comments from you guys, the emails and everything. So you guys are like our forever friends that we t get to talk to all the time. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.